I am producer of Metamorphosis and uh, this entails uh, getting things done, basically. <laughs> I have to um, be in conversations with lots of people at lots of different times um, and people that I can't necessarily get hold of. Um, Organising schools to come here can be quite challenging. I, I've never seen anything quite like this to be honest <laughs> but it's good really really good. I chose this story because it's probably one of the most intriguing and disturbing of Kafka's short stories. It tells a tale of a guy called Gregor Samsa who wakes up one morning to find himself transformed into a gigantic insect. It's an extremely worrying and troubling story about how people cope with change, about family relationships, um, about life as well at the beginning of the 20th century to an extent. Um, as we started researching this, uh, everyone on the team looked into Kafka and, and did their own background reading and we discovered more and more that there were a lot of similarities between the life of Gregor Samsa and the life of Kafka himself. Gregor was a man who was very much bullied by his family, who um, had this very boring, very tedious, very um, very difficult job to do um, that didn't manage to conduct human relationships very well and all these things seem to also apply to Kafka. Um, furthermore we went on to find out that he wrote the metamorphosis while he was being treated for various mental illnesses. He had a pretty difficult life and ended up dying at a very early age. Um, and we became intrigued by the parallels between Kafka and the story, the metamorphosis, and that became the subject of the production that we've made. I was basically responsible for organising all the music and arranging and recording the music for the play. There are other people responsible for the sound, but I was there to make sure that all the sound was in the right place. I wrote the songs Say, Lament, and The Manager Arrives Scene. To begin with, it wasn't going to be a musical, it's just that I decided to try one of my songs on for Liz, and it went down really well, and then practicing it with the group, it sounded so good as a choir, and so I wanted more songs from it, so I created Lament, and just after that it became a musical. <laughs> Music makes it really sort of stand out as a university play, because I thought it was just going to be a normal theatre piece and then we just experimented with all this music and it became really exciting and uh, it's just great to be able to market it in that way, in that like for our campus promotion students went off and sung Dodie Lee around the campus and that really attracted the attention of other people and also we've done a CD where some of the main tracks are on there. with other people. The most challenging part is probably learning all the different dances and making sure that they fit around the actors. I am the um, scenographer. The most challenging part is making sure it fits in with what sort of messages we're trying to get across. I'm fed up with getting up every morning to catch the early train to work. Work out the connections I have to make. If one train's delayed, I'm late for all my meetings. Now, one of the things we did, as well as using the story itself, was to um, use bits of writing, autobiography and biography, um, about Kafka himself. And so we have interspersed with the scenes from the story, um, text appears projected into the stage area, which actually tells something of Kafka's life. My whole family rely on me to keep food on the table, and I have to achieve or father will be disappointed. Oh, I wish I could just give it all up and write. Yes. So, it's what I do. Instead, I'm stuck here with these people. Hi, I'm Helen, and I play the part of one of the Kafkas slash Gregors in this production. Um, I think the most challenging part about this role is um, the fact that we've got to different people playing Gregor slash Kafka and we're constantly having to like switch personalities between the two, um, the writer and then the 
um, person within the novel, Gregor. Um, it's quite like a Brechtian technique to alienate the audience from the main character, so with the two characters doing that, and it kind of establishes to the audience the two different personalities involved in the play. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it's quite a challenge for our character, especially since we're kind of dealing with um, mental patients and a mental asylum kind of effect. And, you know, trying to access two different personalities within almost one scene together is quite a challenging role, but I'm really enjoying it and, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs>